You ever have someone in your life that or in your photos you just want to edit out? Well, with Photoshop and editing software, you can definitely can, but in history, the editing process they got to control, alt, and delete someone is pretty intense. Hi, my name is Jessa. We're going to look at the top 10 people who are erased from history. Number 10, Leon Trotsky. An influential voice in the early days of the Soviet Union, Trotsky was initially a leader in the Bolshevik Revolution. But references to Trotsky was eliminated after he switched his allegiance to the Mensheviks, splitting from his comrade and fellow revolutionary Vladimir Lenin. Lenin then later denounced that Trotsky as a scoundrel, in quotes, in 1917 through Trotsky eventually rejoined the Bolshevists, but still, and after Lenin's deaths, Trotsky was eliminated from the photos by Stalin. Trotsky was then eventually exiled and he was gone from the Soviet Union completely. Number 9, Queen Hashtaput. When it comes to ancient Egypt, they had no problem erasing you from history, especially if they didn't like you. After all, they only had statues and paintings of you and one quick swipe and you're gone. But not all is erased, as some people who did love you might actually hold on to your images, which brings us to Queen Hashaput. Queen Hashaput was a peaceful queen who led a prosperous Egypt for 20 years after the death of her husband, Tutmosis I. Tutmosis III was the eventual heir and was too young to take the throne, and so Queen Hashaput took over. And she took the regency, took it from him before assuming the title of pharaoh until her death. Whether because of the personal struggle or grudge as a thing or a political move, Tutmosis III had instructed descriptions of his aunt removed, and her statues walled up or destroyed, and her name was completely erased from history up until, as of now, one of the obelisks that she has is still erected and still stands in Egypt today. Number 8, Jang Song Taik. Despite the grandstanding and often belligerent statements made by the current powers that may be, some truly upsetting policies that have emerged from the secretive totalitarian government. One such policy is of cold-blooded killings and defamation of anyone, including family, who opposes the official policies of the state. And by that I mean North Korea. When his own uncle brought offense to the current dictator Kim Jong-un, he had the man arrested. He then had him decreed a traitor and killed, but it didn't stop there. Thoroughly infuriated, Kim had the man systematically removed from all media in the country and that was within the government's power to manipulate. The man who had enjoyed an inside position for years now officially never existed in the country of North Korea and like Avatar The Last Airbender, Jang Song Thaek does not exist. After all, there's no war in Bossing Say. What are you talking about? Number 7, Jack Parsons. Jack Parsons was one of the most influential men of his time, inventor, scientist, and socialite. He was responsible for the beginnings of one of America's most important programs. Jack was also the founding member of JBL. If you have a JBL speaker, I think that might be the same thing. An invaluable source of technology for the military during World War II, which eventually provided a wealth of knowledge to an up and coming NASA. However, he was also very ambitious, and by that ambitious, he called himself the Antichrist. At one point, he tried to summon creatures from the underworld. I don't think it worked. He also was the he was also in the room when the formation and creation of Scientology was invented and was friends with Ron Hubbard and was even making waves in the 1940s that was pissing off a lot of educated elite or federal governments as they also disliked him. Systematically was removed from the textbooks and virtually all references that uh had the area footnote of him, Jack was expelled from society and buried in the annals of history until a biography entitled, I can't say, you'll find out later, brought the memory of this colorful character back to life. And by later, you're just gonna have to Google it yourself. Number six, Grigory Nelibov. A founding member of the Sochi Six, Gregory was eventually hand eliminated in the yearbook, but why? Hand picked for the first cosmonaut detachment in 1960, Nelbo Nelbov was a star choice for a space flight for being a remarkable person, an excellent pilot, and a sportsman. A founding member of the top space team known as Sochi Six, some say that Nelbov was the third or fourth person in space. Others say he never made it into space before being expelled from the Soviet space program for alcohol related misconduct. The incident then led to him being deleted from the program records and eventually due to his connections being severed, it is unclear if it was his motive for his death as he was struck by a train and killed. Without any form of investigation, the ruling court stated that his death was just him taking his own life. Number 5, Bogu. If you ever work for a boss, be sure you get your credit where the credit is due even if it's a dictator. But you 
that, that, after all, you did the work, he didn't. For Bogu, he was the person that was overly responsible for the CCP and had a tremendous responsibility under the leader Mao Zedong. However, as a result of some miscommunication on tactical military defenses at the Zunyi conference during the Long March, Bogu was criticized for serious partial political mistakes, and that was in quotes, and replaced in command by Zhang Wentian in 1935. The exact miscommunication differs in most historical accounts, as most does. But it could be what led to Bogu's fallout with Mao Zedong, and therefore it could have been the reason for his elimination from the group photos. After the end of World War II in 1945, Mao was then invited for peace negotiations in order to avoid civil war between CCP and KMT. Bogu was one of the delegates of the CCP with Mao, which indicated his appealing to Mao and his prominence in CCP. But while Bo was on his way, he died in an airplane crash alongside other members and leaders of the CCP and secret police. Interesting. Very interesting. Number 4. Akhenaten as mentioned with Queen Hashaput, the Egyptians tried to erase another ruler and that was Akhenaten. At times, also been referred to the inspiration for the Christian character of Moses, his influence on the Egyptian people was unprecedented and ultimately short-lived. Crediting with introducing monotheism to the Egyptian people, Akhenaten eliminated the polytheistic popular pantheon of gods traditionally enjoyed by the culture. Radical and revolutionary, he did not make any friends with his overhaul of religion and politics, and shortly after taking the throne, Akhenaten ordered all mentions of the previous gods and alongside his wife Nefertiti to rule the land in new establishments, but then all of his decrees were reversed by his son, and everyone in the kingdom didn't like the idea of worshipping one god who happened to be similar to the former pharaoh, and eventually all images of Akhenaten was deleted. Number 3. Nikolai Yezhkov Yezhov earned the nickname Vanishing Cosmar as Hmong art historians for his disappearance from photographs after his execution in 1940. Yezhkov was a loyal Stalinist and was the head of a secret police during Stalin's Great Purge, overseeing mass arrests and executions of those deemed disloyal to the Soviet regime before ironically being arrested, tormented, tried, and executed himself for disloyalty. Stalin was known for eliminating all traces of those who fell out of his good sides or whom he no longer had use for, Yezhov included, but even though Nikolai was forced to be removed from history, considering how Stalin died due to his intensity of his subjects, he could have been saved from a heart attack if he didn't ban his soldiers from entering the door. Number 2. Joseph Goebbels Like Zittler, Joseph G was the German dictator propaganda minister and for some reason was controlled alt and deleted in photos. Even though he was the Zilcher's top commanding chief and executive in spreading lies and vile informations of the Jewish communities that lived in the regions, for some reason he was taken out in the family Christmas photos. Like Stalin, the German dictator was also known for erasing people out if they fell out of favor and although it is still unknown why Joseph was taken out, whatever the case may be on how the relation with Addy H as a nickname I will use for the German dictator for monetization reasons, he wasn't even really a military guy. Yeah, Addy H was a private in the army, but he didn't actually understand military tactics as much. He was actually just as good at his speeches as growing one third of his mustache. And in historical context, it's not enough to just do those things, but to also listen to your advisors when you need to slow down. The assumption is that Joseph G probably gave some important advice to Addy H, and he just didn't like it. And finally, number one, the erased of Slovenia. And yes, finally, number one, the erasure of Slovenia being stricken from the history books is not an event reserved only for individuals. Prior to Slovenia declaring its independence in 1991 from Yugoslavia, many immigrants had made their way into the new country. A lengthy application process was established in which ethnic Slovenes were not required to request citizenship. In 1992, faced with huge logistics problems, the Slovenian government decided to do something about their migration woes. They deleted over 25,000 people from the public register of official citizenship. With the purge records went all social, economic, political, and civil rights of the people that had been once possessed. Literally overnight, the former residents found themselves illegal immigrants in their own homes. The battle to restore citizenship and rights had lasted over 20 years with court appeals ruling in favor of the erased. Though many choose to immigrate elsewhere, others remained, pretending to be refugees or claiming asylum even before they had been equal citizens only days before. The European Court for Human Rights has ruled in favor of the activist groups seeking to restore the lost rights. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something today. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. My name is Jess, and I wish you all the best. Goodbye.